get something correct. John Laurinaitis was forced to do the stuff that he is being accused of doing. Boy, this shit's gonna get crazy. I just got done listening to uh, Jim Cornette and uh, Brian Lass talk about the uh, accusations that John Laurinaitis' attorney just came out and said that uh, he is a victim and that uh, everything that was brought against him was a lie. Now guys, I'm in my Boosted 5 If you notice, not too much clinking too much. Uh, if you watched my video yesterday, I explained to you what was going on with the car. We're pretty much trans mounted and body mounted until next week. But uh, I went and did a little bit of tightening up stuff that the shop did tighten up. So you don't hear all that clinking no more. And uh, this is the white shirt though shifter. But I don't want to get off the topic. More about the Boosted 5 and Larry video. Um, I got a lot of content coming up with the car here next week before I leave to go to Tennessee for my anniversary. But uh, let me get one thing straight. John, 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 John. Oh, Johnny Ace. Stepdad to the Billis. He's a uh, father-in-law to one Daniel Bryan. Uh, with Brian Daniels. So I, I understand he has an image to keep. But here's the thing. And this goes way, 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 way back. There is no secret that John Lord Nice was the head of talent relations. There is no secret that he has a rap sheet, you know, uh, of doing some slimy shit. Uh, there are text messages, bro. Uh, Vince pretty much fingerprinted you in one of the text messages saying that uh, you wanted Miss Grin on a Tuesday because, you know, you wanted all that shit ain't on all. So, here's my question. How is it that you, being a grown-ass man, let Vince McMahon force you into having sex with a woman? That makes no goddamn sense. You're trying to save face because, you know, you got caught up doing wrong. So, my advice to you is to tell your lawyer to stop talking because he's making you look stupid. Um... Uh, I don't agree with the case as it is. And I understand, I read the, the uh, entire you know documentation now. And yes, and like I said in the last video, if she was saying no and you and Vince kept fucking her, even if she said no, she's at fault for not reporting it at that time. Uh, what the hell, if, what the fuck, look at this shit. Look at this truck in front of me going side to side. Look, 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 look. He's trying to pass. Look, he's going side to side. What in the fuck is he doing? Zoom up. Oh hell. He's going side to side. He was weaving side. Look at him. He was weaving side to side. Stupid son of a bitch. Anyway, like I was saying, you and Ben should be locked up for that. However, she didn't report it. Right? Now it's coming out in deposition and in discovery it's coming out that uh, apparently you and Vince did that and she has said no numerous times that is what we like to call statutory rape that's just facts so I love the way this, this car sounds but uh with all that being said Johnny you, you should really shut up you should shut up uh, it's, it's not it's not it's not a good look and I'm, I'm anxious to see what Brock Lesnar's going to say. You know, I heard an a, a interview with Mark Merrill and Stone Cold talking on the uh, Tom Purple Times. I'm going to link that down below, how he found out that, you know, Sable was fucking around with him and Brock because, you know, Sable forgot that Mark had all her information to check her voice messages and shit. But I find it kind of funny that Brock is now accused, and we're going to assume it's Brock, but I remember Kane Velasquez came to the WWE did a brief little stint there, so he was a UFC WWE champion crossover. You know, uh, well, Ken Shamrock was an MMA, but UFC MMA. But I don't think Kim Shamrock was around this time because this happened in just a, few, a couple years ago. So the only guy that's currently there that's a UFC WWE athlete is Vince McMahon, and I can play devil's advocate. You got Ronda Rousey, who's no longer employed, uh, you know, and you also got Shayna Baszler. 
both of them came from UFC as well. So I can play devil's advocate and say it could have been some 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 lesbian shit in there as well. I'm just saying, we don't know yet. Even though Ronda seemed kind of vocal about not having no involvement in this shit. So with that being said, that's my take on everything. Uh, Johnny Ace is a dumbass and uh, morally fucked at this point uh, because we all know what's going to happen. I mean, Vince going to have to pay some money. Uh, I don't see no jail time, but there's going to be some money that's going to be paid. And uh, like I said, I, I really don't like how this is going down. I feel like that she's just exploiting Vince. She went along with a lot of shit. Uh, but, you know, just ask Donald Trump, you know, uh, wealthier you are, the, the, the likelihood you're being fucked out a lot of money is exponentially higher simply because you know, uh, you're rich. So, and I love this Gen 2 Bible behind me, running up on me, but um, it's gonna be fun. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, and I'm out, guys.